Good afternoon to all and welcome to the APUS Symposium with today's presentation, Impact of the Silent Spring. We will be covering current science knowledge in support of popular science writing. I am Edwin Solero. Rachel Carson is the author of the bestseller, Silent Spring. Her background was very extensive in environmental science with a tremendous focus on pesticide impacts. She is a graduate of Pennsylvania College of Women with a bachelor's in biology. She continued her graduate studies at the University of John Hopkins where she majored in zoology and genetics. Her experience in environmental science allowed her to achieve positions within the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Her dedication to, to science brought her close to the academia where she became professor at both the University of Maryland and John Hopkins University. Her continued efforts established various studies and research on pesticide use. Her dedication to the environment and wildlife raised awareness in the U.S. She published numerous articles and books which highlighted the concern of pesticide overuse. A few other books written included The Sea Around Us and Under the Sea Wind. Rachel Carson's famous Silent Spring became a wildfire in the U.S. The book raised many concerns and realities around the country which highlighted the continued abuse of pesticides. Several factors highlighted in the text included harmful pesticide residual and overuse. And it also captured the harm to several species around the country which affected the biodiversity of the ecosystem. Deaths to avian and aquatic life raised many questions to the U.S. population. This eye-opener really gave an insight of lack of accountability in pesticide operations around the country. The writing was an essential piece to the evolution of our environmental laws in our country. This led to many important agencies and regulations. The concern of which Rachel Carson is addressing in her work is the negative impacts associated with the overuse of pesticide. This includes soil degradation, water contamination, enhanced pesticide residual in food and water and wildlife deaths. Pesticide cycle demonstrate, demonstrated here shows how it becomes a concern to all living organisms. Not only are we concerned with the effects on human life, but all the negative impacts associated with the overuse of pesticide in our ecosystem. You can notice runoff issues, soil erosion, leaching, non-target pest impacts, and many more. Today, our water systems in our country have been able to rewind some of these negative effects by removing pesticides from our drinking water. Safe thresholds have been established in our country. The economy will face a concern as potential pesticide resistance becomes a threat to our agricultural operations. The natural balance has been manipulated by the use of human created chemicals, which in the end will negatively impact our society. Pesticides were used worldwide with very limited accountability. This led to hazardous residuals. The most commonly used pesticide during this era was DDT. Dated legislation did not provide oversight of pesticide, and the lack of regulation led to the conquest that Rachel Carson established. The use of DDT, however, was a fundamental tool in the elimination of malaria in the U.S. Reporting found that approximately 4 million applications were completed in 1949. By, uh, by 1966, the Department of U.S. Agriculture estimated 27 million pounds of DDT used. Production of pesticide and other chemicals were on the rise during this time period. Rachel Carson opened many people's eyes to the exposures of pesticide in our country. Her dedication her dedicated work allowed many readers to understand the negative impacts on our environment. She addressed many issues associated with, with our wildlife and human exposures. The publication raised many questions and allowed government officials to address these concerns. Years after the publication, Silent Spring research and other reports collected the effects of pesticide overuse. The Mississippi River fish kill incident raised awareness of how important it was to act immediately in order to protect our environment. President John F. Kennedy addressed many of the concerns associated with pesticides in the President's Science Advisory Committee. Her work continued to address harmful impacts associated with pesticide use. Rachel Carson's hard work 
and writings allowed the federal government to act on the concerned use of pesticide. Many federal regulatory guidance was produced after her publication. You will notice many common acts in our government today. Her foundation established a pathway to protecting our environment. This was a necessary tool uh, needed in order to acquire the government, in order to protect our st all stakeholders involved. Her foundational studies has allowed our people to continually study and research better practices in pest control. Research and development include prevention of pesticide resistance and genetically modified seeds, which can repel pests and invasive species from attacking other crops right, while limiting the use of pesticide. The creation of the Integrated Pest Management Program allowed for a multiple view approach to pest control. Ingenuity and further research will be critical. Alternatives to chemical pesticides like biological control products like fungi have been successful in mosquito control. Not only did this minimize the use of pesticide, but also effectively used the other measures to prevent use of pesticides. The demand placed on our environment will continue to grow, which will require us to remain proactive and seek solutions to these problems. Her hard work and dedication has laid a foundation necessary to protect our future generation. Rachel Carson has been a critical proponent of our environmental battle. 